We have two new animals here at Reed Park Zoo. They are called blue dikers, and they're a small species of antelope. They're native to really wide ranges throughout Africa, and we have a male and a female. The female's name is Marigold, and she is about one years old, and the male's name is Viazi, and he is two. The two blue dikers that we have here did come from different zoos, and they were introduced to each other very slowly over time, but they got along really great right from the beginning, and they seem to be really good friends. They have a breeding recommendation, so they um, are recommended through the SSP to reproduce, which is very exciting, so hopefully someday we'll have babies here at the zoo. Uh, so these antelope are one of the smallest species of antelope, so they are really, really tiny. They weigh about seven pounds each. Um, they are full grown, so when you see them in the habitat, they look really small, but that is as big as they get. So the blue dikers here at the zoo get a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. In the wild, they eat a lot of leaves and fruits that were dropped by other animals. So it is a really good pairing to have them in with the ring-tailed lemurs because that would um, happen similarly in the wild with other primates. Um, they're really fun, active animals. They have um, lots of nice time running around in the habitat and they really like to interact with each other. Blue dikers are at risk in the wild, mostly due to habitat loss. Uh, they do need lots of really dense forest undergrowth to hide and find their food in, and so if that is destroyed in the wild, it doesn't give them as many safe places to live. We've been doing introductions between the ring-tailed lemurs and the blue dikers, and they've been going really well. Um, there's not a ton of interaction, but they do um, notice each other, and they will sometimes approach each other, but everyone is getting along really great. They are currently um, swapping in and out of the ring-tailed lemur habitat with the end goal that they're gonna live with the ring-tailed lemurs all the time. So you can find them down at the ring-tailed lemur habitat. And the best time to see them is usually out in the mornings. When they first come out, they're very active and then they may be out um, on and off throughout the day.